What's going on guys, I am with the Moose, and today I'm bringing you guys a new series, and it's going to be based on the Draft Champions mode in Mutt 16, or in Madden 16 more specifically, I should say. Um, and the way I did this is I'm going to be doing Draft Champions within Madden 15 Ultimate Team. Um, and I did this using a bunch of number generators and stuff like that. I'm going to try to explain it and uh, leave something in the description for you guys if you want to try it yourself. Now, I broke it down into individual, um, you know, overall categories uh, because that's generally what you get in draft champions. You get a group of, you know, three very similar overall players generally. Um, so 80 to 81 has one slot in the draft. There's going to be 25 rounds overall. I should mention that. Uh, 82 to 83 has three rounds in the draft. 84 to 85 has five rounds. 86 overall has four rounds. 87 overall has four rounds. 88 overall has three rounds. 89 overall has two rounds. 90 to 91 overall has one round. And then there's two legend rounds, one being offense and one being defense. Now, um, it's only going to be road to the playoffs and base set players, except for the legends. Those will just be base legends. Um, you know, the guys you either get in packs or in sets, you know, pretty much nobody juiced up too much other than, you know, a, a handful, you know, Jerry Rice, Night Train Lane, guys like that. Um, and every single one of those guys is going to be able to be picked in this. And the way I determine each, each round is I uh, randomly generate the numbers for each round. Uh, so the first round in this draft, for instance, was actually an 84 to 85 overall. Um, and then once that's picked, that becomes out of the rotation for rounds. And now there's only 24 rounds left and you uh, choose another overall for that one. Now the way I pick the players is then I randomly generate uh, three um, positions for each round. So in the first round, you'll see there's a cornerback, a right guard, and a middle linebacker. And then what I do, what I do for those is I generate teams for each one. Um, so the cornerback, you know, the team is generated and whatever team it is, um, as long as that player in that team fits the overall. So in this case, it was uh, the Bears um, fitting an 84 to 85 overall player at the cornerback position and Tim Jennings filled that role so that's what I did is put Tim Jennings as the cornerback and you guys will see it play out uh, hopefully you guys do understand how this is working out so far so for this first draft, I'm going to be drafting my entire team with 25 positions as a whole that should fill out an entire roster. I plan to play around four to five games with this team and then do another draft of about 10 rounds or so, uh, you know, upgrading some positions using a different set of players. Like I said, this is only going to be road of the playoffs and base set players besides the legends, of course. Um, so I kind of kept it low key for this first one and hopefully we'll just keep growing it until, you know, later on until Madden 16 comes out and then we'll actually be able to play draft champions. But I thought it'd be pretty cool to play draft champions before the game actually came out or at least try to recreate the mode as best we can. And, uh, I think this is going to be a fun way to do it. So hopefully you guys stick around and enjoy. I think we're going to drop into the first few rounds of the draft right here. Uh, maybe do the whole draft if I can do it quickly, but there are 25 rounds, so it should be, you know, a pretty lengthy video if I did all 25. So we'll see how the video goes. Uh, but hopefully you guys will be seeing a good amount of rounds in this video. Kicking it off in round one, we have 84 to 85 overall players here, and we got Tim Jennings, 84 overall cornerback to start it off, Todd Harriman's 84 overall right guard for the second card, and then Gerard Mayo, 85 overall middle linebacker, definitely an intriguing choice. Uh, so let's break it down. Tim Jennings, a little bit short, could be a good option though. Uh, Todd Harriman's has a really bad pass block, very good run block though, and uh, Gerard Mayo, not the best catching, so I think I'm going to stay away from him uh, for my middle linebacker, definitely want to use that player. Um, but I think I'm going to go with Todd Harriman's, he has that great run block, I kind I want to you know focus my team around uh, you know running the ball and uh, Todd Harriman's will be the pick here on to round two now we got Red Bryant road to the playoffs 85 overall left end we have Orlando Franklin 85 overall right tackle and then Damon Harrison 85 overall defensive tackle and uh, Red Bryant good block shed but kind of low power move uh, Orlando Franklin very low run block don't really want to have him considering I had Todd Harriman's with the high run block earlier and then uh, Damon Harrison has a you know pretty high block shed he's a little bit slow but he has good power move so I'm gonna pick Damon Harrison as my DT number one to start it off in round two on to round three now and the category is 87 overall first up we got Tyron Smith uh, left tackle for the Cowboys Mike Tolbert fullback for the Panthers and then Jarrell Casey the defensive tackle for uh, the Tennessee Titans. So I don't know who I'm going to choose here. Uh, Tyron Smith has, you know, really good balance of, of stats. Mike Tolbert a little bit early to pick a fullback and Jarrell Casey. I already have a DT, so I'm going to go with Tyron Smith uh, and, you know, shore up the uh, blind side for my QB. Moving on to round four, and oh boy, look at this. We have the offensive legend, so this is going to be an interesting one. Let's see who we get. We have Steve Largent, 90 overall wide receiver. Sammy Baugh, 90 overall quarterback. And then Emmett Smith, 94 overall running back. So it's interesting. I Like I said, I want it to be a running back focused team. 
but uh, I don't know if I'm going to go with him. Sammy Ball, we're going to eliminate him right away. Don't want him slow uh, and just not really, you know, what I'm looking for in a QB. Uh, Emmett Smith, I kind of wanted a fast running back, not going to lie. And Emmett's not really that great at, you know, trucking or anything like that. So I'm going to have to say I'm going to go with Steve Largent. He's probably going to be my number two, maybe my number, number three receiver. And uh, Steve Largent should be a pretty good addition. Wish I had some better legends to pick from, but I'll take Steve Largent. Round number five up next, and we have an 88 overall, uh, another elite spot. And we have Anthony Davis, right tackle for the 49ers. Marcel Reese, another elite fullback. And then Cameron Wake, left end uh, for the Dolphins. So uh, I'm not really sure who I'm going to pick exactly. Marcel Reese is out of it. You know, don't need another, don't need a fullback. You know, that's that good. Uh, Cameron Wake, kind of low block shit, though. So I think I'm going to stay away from Wake. And I think I'm going to go with Anthony Davis here. He's good as a whole. And both of my tackles now, since I already have Tyron Smith, are going to be very, very good. 86 overall is the category for round number six, and we have Robert Ayers, road to the playoffs, left end. Frank Gore, uh, base running back, and then Aaron Williams, uh, road to the playoffs, strong safety. So they're all actually golds. Kind of interesting here. Frank Gore, pretty similar to Emmett Smith, just a little bit worse. Uh, Robert Ayers, another guy that has low block shed from the left end spot. So I'm going to go with Aaron Williams. He's fast, has good zone, does have low hit power, but that's something I'll have to compensate for with some other picks. And uh, Aaron Williams is who I'm going with here. Moving into round number seven, we have 87 overall as the category. Once again, we have Justin Smith, right end. Uh, Jarrell Casey, again, defensive tackle. And then Jerry Hughes, road to the playoffs, left end. And uh, Casey, you know, he has good block shed, but and his, his pursuit is good too, but he's kind of slow. I don't know if I'll pick him. We already have a DT. Uh, and Jerry Hughes has just atrocious block shed, so I'm going to have to go with Justin Smith. He's pretty slow, but his power move and his block shed are both solid, so I'm going with Justin Smith. Into round number eight, and we have kind of a low category this time. 82 to 83 overall is the uh, slot, and we have Captain Munderland, cornerback. Andrew Luck, QB, so that's interesting. First quarterback on the board uh, besides Sammy Baugh, and then Marcus Colston, 83 overall wide receiver. So uh, Munderland, very, very short. Not going to go with him. Not going to work out at the uh, cornerback position. Marcus Colston, he's 6'4". That's really cool. He is very slow, uh, but his release and catch and traffic are both very, very solid. And Andrew Luck has, you know, has good speed, but uh, he has really bad throw accuracy deep. So I'm going to have to go with Marcus Colston. Uh, and just hope I can get an elite quarterback later on in the draft. 87 overall is the category for round nine, and we started off with Terrell Suggs, left outside linebacker, Ladarius Webb at cornerback, and then Tom Brady at QB, so another QB choice after we passed on Andrew Luck. Uh, Terrell Suggs, he's you know he's good at rushing the QB, but can't really cover, and I want you know a 4-3 linebacker system. Uh, we got Ladarius Webb. His man and zone are good, but his stats, you know, or his, he's a little bit short, so uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to stay away from Webb, so I'm going to pick Tom Brady. He's great throwing stats, slow as hell, but I'm going to have to go with Brady and you know shore up that QB spot with a great one. Moving into round 10, we have choices of 88 overalls, and we got A.J. Green, great dominant receiver on the outside. LaShawn McCoy, very fast running back, like I said, I wanted. And then Calais Campbell, the left end. And uh, Calais Campbell, too low a block shed for me, so I'm staying away from him. A.J. Green, very good number one choice, and he's 6'4", but I already have a 6'4 receiver in Marcus Colston, and they're kind of similar. A.J. Green's, of course, better, but uh, I think I'm going to go with LaShawn McCoy, dominant running back, very fast, very elusive, and he's the choice here. This round, we're looking at 86 overall players. We started off with Thomas Davis, left outside linebacker. We got Jason Witten, the slow tight end from my Dallas Cowboys at tight end. Um, and then, you know, Sam Shields, road of the playoffs, cornerback. So uh, we'll break it down. Sam Shields, great speed, good slot corner, but I think I'm going to stay away. Uh, Jason Witten, he's way too slow for me. I'm going to stay away from him for now. And uh, Thomas Davis has great zone, good speed. I'm going to have to go with him. He's a great uh, 86 overall left outside linebacker. Into round 12 now, we're going to go with 86 overalls. Again, we got Carlos Dansby, road to the playoffs, middle linebacker. Brandon Flowers at cornerback, and then Jason Witten once again. Kind of funny to see that. So Carlos Dansby, he's pretty slow, and he has bad catching, and I want to use that player, so I'm not going to pick him. Brandon Flowers, he's short, and he's really not that great at anything, so I think I'm going to stay away from him and actually pick Jason Witten, the guy I just you know, passed on last round. He's slow, but he's going to be a nice security blanket on third down, and uh, he should be a good pickup. Past the halfway point now in the draft, and we're actually on the 90 to 91 overall slot in the draft. Um, we start off with Calvin Johnson, base elite, a 90 overall wide receiver. We got Richard Sherman, cornerback, 91 overall, and J.J. Watt, 91 overall left end. They're all fantastic players. Really can't go wrong with any of them. Um, but I think I'm going to have to go with Calvin Johnson. He's a dominant receiver, going to really make some plays in the secondary. And um, I really think that, especially in Madden 15 Ultimate Team, he's a great pickup. And I'm going with Calvin over the other two monsters. Dropping the overalls now, we're looking at 84 to 85 overall players. We got Vince Wolfork, 85 overall DT, Clay Matthews, 85 overall right outside linebacker, and Steven Tulloch, 84 overall middle linebacker. Now, Tulloch has bad catching. He's pretty slow. I'm not going to pick him for my user player. And then Vince Wolfork, very slow, and he's pretty much the same guy as uh, Damon Harrison, who we already picked in the draft at DT. Uh, so I'm going to go with Clay Matthews right outside linebacker. Good all around. Should be a nice uh, pickup for our linebacking core. 
On to round 15 now, we're looking at 86 overall players. We got Carl Nix at left guard, Ryan Khalil at center, and then Charles Tillman at cornerback. So um, I'm not really sure who I'm going to pick here. Carl Nix has really bad impact block, but he's a, a solid blocker overall. I think I'm going to stay away, though. And then Ryan Khalil, nothing great about him, and he has kind of mediocre blocking stats. So I'm going to go with Charles Woods or Charles Tillman, I should say. He's 6'2". He's kind of slow, but he's good in coverage, and he has good press. So uh, Tillman's the pick here. In this round, we're looking at 82 to 83 overall players. we got Carlos Rogers, cornerback, 82 overall. Nick Hardwick, center, 82 overall. And then Carlos Dansby, middle linebacker, 83 overall. And uh, Carlos Rogers, pretty me mediocre. Not really good at anything. Not Really not great at anything, I should say. And then Carlos Dansby, he's pretty slow. He's nice, nice and tall, but he's not very good in coverage. So I'm going to stay away from him and pick Nick Hardwick. He's okay at everything. Not great at anything, really. Uh, but he should be a solid contributor at center. On to round 17 now. We're looking at 84 to 85 overalls. We got Jed Collins, 84 overall fullback. Tim Jennings, like we had earlier in the in the draft, and Red Bryant as well, who we also had earlier in the draft. So um, I'm staying away from Jed Collins. Don't want a, a fullback at this point. Uh, Tim Jennings, you know, he's he, you know I don't really need him. I don't think. Um, and Red Bryant, I think, um, you know, he's kind of slow, but I think in general he's going to be a good contributor and uh, solid coming off the edge there. Finally, we got some more elites. We're looking at 88 overalls. We got Eric Weddle, free safety, cornerback Brent Grimes, and defensive tackle, run right of the playoffs, Kawan Short. Now, Weddle has good player act, but he's pretty short, and he's uh, has kind of low hit power, so I'm going to stay away from him. And Brent Grimes, very short. Good coverage stats, and he's pretty quick, uh, but he's a little bit short for corner for me. So I'm going to go with Kawan Short. Good power move, good black shed, and, uh, you know, decent speed. So I'm going to go with Kawan Short as my DT number one, and Damon Harrison will move to DT number two. We had the offensive legend round earlier. Now we got the defensive legend round. We're starting off with free safety, 97 overall, Steve Atwater. Next up, 98 overall, middle linebacker, Ray Lewis. And then the final card, insane, 99 overall, night train lane, cornerback, of course. And uh, that's just the way the cookie crumbled in this round. I think I got to go with NTL. Night train lane has to be the pick. I would be insane not to pick him. And he should be an awesome you know, addition to the squad. On to round 20 now. We're looking at 82 to 83 overall players. We got Kelichi Osamel, uh, left guard. Will Tukuofu, I definitely said that wrong, fullback. And uh, Raheem Moore, free safety, 83 overall. Now, I kind of need a fullback, and the way I justified this is saying that later on in the draft, I have some higher overall players that I'll want to pick at skill positions. So I'm going to pick Will Tukuofu to fill the fullback role. He has 82 trucking, 82 run block. Definitely fits what I need him to do. And uh, he should be a solid pickup, and I don't want to waste a high overall pick on a fullback, so I want to pick him here at 82 overall. On to round 21 now, and we have the worst overall category. That's 80 to 81 overall. We've got Janoris Jenkins, cornerback, Jack Muhort, road to the playoffs, left guard, and Daryl Smith, 80 overall middle linebacker. Daryl Smith, low catching, low speed. I'm going to stay away from him. And Janoris Jenkins, he has good speed, but he's pretty short. His man coverage is good, um, but I'm going to stay away. You know, I already have Night Train Lane. My cornerback should be fine. And uh, Jack Muhort's going to be the pick here. He has good strength, uh, impact block is solid as well, but his pass block is a little bit low, but I think he'll be able to make up for it with a solid offensive line, so I'm going with Jack Muhort. Last few rounds here, only have a few positions left. We're looking at 89 overall players. We have Darrell Revis, cornerback, Navarro Bowman, middle linebacker, and Earl Thomas, not 89 overall, free safety. Uh, Revis is, of course, very, very good. So is Bowman. Bowman has a little bit low catching, so I think I'm going to stay away from him. But I'm going to have to go with Earl Thomas. He has low hit power, but he's fast and has good zone. Fills a need at free safety, and I'm going to take Earl Thomas here. Once again, we're looking at 89 overall players. This time we have Darrell Revis once again, along with Navarro Bowman once again, but we also have Elvis Dumerville this time left outside linebacker. His block shed's a little bit low, uh, so I'm staying away from him. And Navarro Bowman, like I said earlier, catching is a little bit low for me for a user player. So I'm going to go with Darrell Revis. Should really make my corners very, very exceptional, and uh, Revis is the pick here. Round 24 features 87 overall players. We have Brian Cushing, base elite middle linebacker, Terrell Suggs, right outside linebacker, and Luke Keekley. Middle linebacker, I got to go with Keekley. His catching is astoundingly good, and uh, that's what I've wanted the entire draft. Waited this long to get one. Finally got Keekley. That's got to be the pick here. Into the final round now, we're pretty much picking a backup to one of the positions. So we have 84 to 85 overall players. We got DeMarco Murray, of course, now in the Eagles, was on my Cowboys. Uh, then we have Zach Ertz, road to the playoffs, 85 overall tight end. We also have Stevie Johnson, wide receiver, road to the playoffs version. But I have to go with DeMarco Murray. I really want a power back uh, to back up LaShawn McCoy. I think that'll be the, you know, really, really good to see that in the backfield. And he's going to be the pick in our final round of the draft. 
All right, guys, that does it for the draft. Hopefully you did enjoy it. I know it's a little bit different. Um, and if you guys want to uh, try this yourselves, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll try to you know, work something together for you guys uh, so that you can understand it better. And hopefully the rules I explained at the beginning were pretty understandable. Also, thanks for sticking around this long. I know it's a long video, around 14, 15 minutes long, somewhere around there. Uh, but I will be trying to get some gameplay with this team out very, very soon. And uh, like I said earlier, I'm probably going to play around four to five games with them and then do a new draft of about 10 players um, and kind of keep the team fresh and whatnot. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.